But I was jealous because she would always like, you know, she, she was comfortable naked. That's got to be cool. <laughs> That's got to be so cool. Hot people, man, they get to just fucking enjoy it. <laughs> they just get to have sex come and then be like, where do you want to eat, babe? <laughs> I've never had sex without at least once being like, what is this? <laughs> Who are you right now? This isn't you, you're a silly goose. <laughs> and I'm sitting there being like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Do you ever make a noise during sex and in your head you're like, what was that? <laughs> I hate it, I talk shit to myself all the time during sex. I'll be like, oh, that feels so good. You're like, oh, does that feel so good? Does that feel so good? Shut the fuck up. Shut up, you idiot. You're sweating all over this poor girl. <laughs> Since puberty, I've been dragged behind my dick like it was a runaway horse. <laughs> yeah. See big titties and you're like, ah! And now things are more settled, you know? But I like it. I think that's why men are all messed up in our teens and our 20s is because we go from being little boys to creeps. <laughs> Overnight. <laughs> you know? One day you're just like a little boy that just wants to talk about dinosaurs to anyone that'll listen. <laughs> you know, you're just cornering your parents' friends like, did you know the Stegosaurus was from the late Jurassic period? It was... A herbivore. And you wake up the next day, you're like, I want pussy. <laughs> All I want is pussy. And now I'm 40 and I'm back to loving dinos. And <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's great. <laughs> that's what happens when you when you get too horny you get in trouble that's just as a man if it breaches the horny level you're gonna do something stupid i almost lost my fiance during covid not even to the virus <laughs> to a bluetooth speaker <laughs> yeah if you've been in this situation you know where this is going i i bought it i brought the vampire into the house I bought, I bought her a waterproof Bluetooth speaker so we could enjoy music in the shower. That was it. We both loved it, used it, had a great time. COVID hits. We're locked together for seven weeks. By around week five, you know, she's taken a pretty long shower. And I was in the living room and I was like, I could probably watch some adult entertainment. on my phone? <laughs> what could go wrong? I can't imagine how jarring <laughs> porn is out of context. 100% out of context? That's gotta be wild. She's washing her hair, singing along to SZA. And then instantly it's like, <laughs> it's gotta be a lot. And I have no idea how that feels. I do know how it feels to watch porn and not know where the volume is. <laughs> That's the one I know where you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> This lady looks like she's screaming her head off. <laughs> Just mushing on that up button, you know? Like, give me something, give me anything. <laughs> then through the wall, you hear just like, fuck me. You're like, no! <laughs> ah, no. Even telling you guys that's making my pee hole snap shut. <laughs> oh my God, I heard it and immediately I was like, run. Run. But I couldn't, you know, because there was a virus in the sky killing motherfuckers. At that moment, I was like, just tell her the truth. 
tell her the goddamn truth. And I went and stood outside that bathroom door. And I was like, you're gonna tell her the truth. Then that door opened and I was like, hey, I opened an email and I... <laughs> Verbatim what I said. She told me when it happened, she tried to manually turn it down on the speaker, but because I was hitting up... It just looked like I was bullying her with porn. You know, I'm like, you're gonna fucking listen to this shit. But she stayed, thank God. Thank God. <laughs>